get different results in those games? Just get get your guys to approach those any differently? I sure hope so. Uh, you know, obviously it's not a mystery. We haven't been able to finish off a series or uh, sweep a series or win a series in, in uh, last weekend's ob objective. And uh, some of that has to do with uh, no offense to Colby because in, in some cases he's pitched really well and we haven't hit. So uh, it might have something to do with the opposing pitcher. Um, for us, it, uh, it's that inevitable clutch hit, that two, you know, that RBI hit. And we've done a lot of good things, including last weekend, and just not uh, good enough to win. So nobody feels good about that. It's your scouting report on the bees. <laughs> I, you know, it doesn't take a genius to figure out they're really good. They're, uh, again, uh, um, it, I just look forward to competing against them. There, they have great fans, great tradition. They've uh, had a great run in the last several years, and uh, they're really good again this year, no surprise. So we look forward to the opportunity to compete over there. Do you anticipate your starting rotation being the same? I see you're not announcing anything. We don't know because, uh, you know, playing the doubleheader on Sunday and moving to Thursday, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that didn't line up real well for us. So, uh, they got to play uh, fri games. Friday and Saturday. Yeah. and. Didn't play third. Anyway, poor, it's not poor us. Uh, it is what it is. We won't use that as a, uh, a reason that we don't play well. We, we plan on playing well. And if we don't play well, that, that's going to be a problem there because they play well. You anticipate seeing Heimlich then on tomorrow night? Yeah, I think so. Uh, that's how it looked. And they started Fremel in, in game two and got rain and then came in with their third guy uh, the next the day. And so I don't know. I, I would suspect that, but, you know, sooner or later, we'll know tomorrow uh, what we're doing, and they'll know what I, they probably know what they're doing already. But. A couple of years ago, we, you guys took two up there, and it seems like a catalyst series to have a strong finish to the Pac-12 season. What's your message to these guys coming off the, the Washington series and into this one? Well, like Rob said, uh, I think whenever, uh, for whatever reason, we get too too much out there, like 56 games or. 30 games in conference or the last, what right now we're through the halfway point of our conference. Uh, the silver lining in that is we're six and nine, which is crummy, but we have half of our uh, league contest uh, ahead of us. So uh, you look at the next objective is not easy, uh, but I think if we look at all 15 games, I think that's too vague and uh, we've got enough to, to deal with just in uh, tomorrow's game. So I know that that's the old coach talk, but. It's true with this club that we've thrown out 30 games and 30 game World Series, and and then we, uh, you know, you look at our last 10, we're four and six, and our last five, we're one and four, and so we need to get up off the deck and play better baseball, whether it's the Beavers or anybody else. What do you tell your guys about playing at Goss Stadium? I, uh, I told them the truth. It's a great experience. Uh, once again, like I said to Steve, great fans. Uh, Great coaching staff, great team. Uh, it's what I live for, uh, the ultimate challenge. Uh, certainly it looks like a very much a playoff-worthy team, and if you want to be a playoff-worthy team, then you've got a good barometer there. So uh, I like playing in the, these kind of series as much more than the one you're supposed to win or you're trying to prevent failing and playing crummy. It's an you know it's an opportunity to play good and, and and if you if you're successful and you can beat a program like that you feel really good about yourself. For as maybe bad as the third game of a series has been, Yovan stepping in has really done a good job in the starting role for you. What um, better than maybe you expected moving him there? Mm, I wouldn't say that. I he's been he's an awfully good pitcher. Um, we didn't know how he would uh, take to. Uh, what starting pitchers have to do getting into the high uh, 80s, 90s. Last week, 118. Coach Horton left him in one hitter too long, uh, and I'll take the bullet there. And in his starts, he's actually gotten into rhythm like big, strong starting pitchers do. He's gotten better as the game went along, and that that was apparent to me that he looked like he was getting stronger last weekend. And unfortunately, he didn't execute a pitch as well as he wanted to, and we got burned by that. But uh, He's been everything that we hoped, and our starting pitching, uh, I believe, and I've said this, uh, it gives us a chance to maybe string some victories together and not quit, quit talking about it, but actually do it.
Kobe even uh, wasn't at his very best last weekend, but kept us in the game. So uh, we have to we have to figure out a way to uh, play catch in the clutch and hit in the clutch a little bit better. The numbers back up what you're saying there as far as team ERA and stuff. So do you feel like your pitching gives you a pretty good chance going head to head with Oregon State? Yeah, um, but understand they've got pretty good threesome too. So uh, you, you know, it, do, do you have to win the game two to one or one to nothing or? You know, I don't know. Uh, they've also got a very good offensive team, so uh, up and down the order, and they've got depth. And uh, we think if we play catch and our pitchers pitch like they're capable, of, we're pretty hard to score runs against as well. So, but certainly they are. Uh, Coach Eski's done a great job, and all the accolades that he's received are well deserved. And their pitching staff, all the accolades that they've uh, received are well deserved. They're, they're not made up stuff. They're real. That's real. Did you see strides from the plate in the series against the Huskies? And if so, where did you see those? I did. I think I thought we were a little more consistent. That's what I was discussing with the players. Uh, we hit some balls hard that they turned into outs uh, and vice versa. But um, we did a really good job of setting the table. We got leadoff hitters on. Uh, in most cases, we executed the offense. And in some of the non-successful RBI at-bats, we hit the ball hard. They just turned them into outs. So. Uh, the objective is to hit the ball hard more frequently and see if they can continue to do that. So, uh, you know, if you, it's just like a uh, major league manager, you know, teams go through cycles of getting that clutch hit and, and don't, or, or shooting a basketball or hitting a golf shot or what have you. It's, uh, if, if I, I've said this many times for you guys before, if I had the answer to what would get them in the perfect mindset, uh, they would already know it and they would never get out of that. But, uh, Squaring up a round ball with a round bat is not an easy thing to do. And in the Pac-12, when it's an RBI situation, it's different than hitting with two outs and nobody on. They pitch differently to you, so it makes it more, t more difficult.